Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to Dad, Robert Long, who lives at Gorge River. Now, Dad's lived at Gorge River for 40 years and he moved there when he was 25 with the vision to live somewhere that he could live sustainably and show other people how you can live sustainably and use less resources in the world. So Dad had to find somewhere pretty far out to do that, which was Gorge River, South Island's west coast New Zealand. This is my home at Gorge River. Dad's going to start by telling us a little bit more about actually living at Gorge River. This is our little home here, which has been my home for since 1980. So this year, by November, it'll be my 39th. I would have lived here for 39 years, and I hope to keep living here for I don't know as long as I can. But I'd be quite happy to live here at least 50 years. This is my radio here. It's if I want to listen to what's uh, set the uh, inverters on at the moment, but if I want to listen to what's going on in the world, I can turn my radio on, and every day I catch up with all the live news from around the world which I find very interesting I'm interested in world economics world events local events and you know the whole business world out there I'm interested in all of that and how they're getting on uh, it can be a little bit hard living here at Gorge River it is reasonably cold sort of a place and I, that's, I tend to have to overdress. People wonder why I overdress. It's because I'm living in a place where I'm dealing with the elements a lot. There's hardly a day where there isn't a breeze coming from one direction or another. So as long as I keep on top of that, then I'm happy. Luckily, the house here catches the sun. Also, it's very isolated. We're a very long way from any other neighbours to the extent where you can't just duck next door, you know, and go and have a yarn with someone. It's, um, you'd have to allow two or three days. You have to allow a day to walk. There's people south of us here at the moment, white baiting, but I'd have to allow a day to go down there a day there and then a day to come back just to have a chat with someone so you tend to not just do that because it's um, you know you're busy trying to get your work done and it's a long way to town so but we are pretty well organized for supplies and that sort of thing it used to be a lot harder in the old days when I just used to rely on walking in and out to get supplies so Often you'd run out of things, but the other good part of it is that we, we we can get fish and shellfish, and we can eat local food, possum and venison, and you don't have to pay anything for that. It's just you do have to put work into it, work and organisation and skill, but it's something that the place here gives you for nothing as far as money goes you can go maybe a couple of weeks or more without seeing anybody sometimes which can be quite difficult because it's good to catch up with people um, every now and again now it's also a bit harder for our children to get home but um, they still manage to get home and we help them if They'll either walk in or fly out or walk in and walk out or fly in and fly out, just whatever, when they've got spare time. So we don't just rely on walking like we used to in the old days because it, it, it makes it a bit harder. But as long as you're travelling light, I still really enjoy walking, walking out. I spend a lot of my time exploring doing possum lines now. I probably I spend more time out in the wilderness around here than what I ever used to even in the past just because I do a lot of possum trapping. Both mum and dad have written books. 
autobiographies about their life living at Gorge River and bringing up a family at Gorge River. So if you are interested in getting a signed copy of that book, please message me below in the comments below the video here. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. And that's all for today. Thank you very much and best of luck on lockdowns all around the world.